have some news from Jammu and Kashmir. There is a big change in uh, Kashmir where Jammu and Kashmir administration has ordered replacing Sheikh Kashmir Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah embossed on one side of the police gallantry medal with the national emblem of India, the Ashoka pillar. An order by the principal secretary in Home Department says that Sheikh Kashmir Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah embossed on one side of the medal will be replaced with the national emblem of the government of India. That is the Ashoka pillar. The other side inscribed for the Jammu and Kashmir state emblem shall be inscribed as Jammu and Kashmir Police Medal for Gallantry and Jammu and Kashmir Police Medal for Meritorious Service in case of gallantry, meritorious medal. In pre-article 370 era, the state of Jammu and Kashmir had its own state emblem which used to be embossed on the police medal apart from the image of Sheikh Abdullah who was the father of former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Dr. Farooq Abdullah. But now both the state emblem and the image of Sheikh Abdullah will be erased to give way for the Ashoka pillar, which is India's national emblem. Sunil Ji Bhatt is getting asked more details on that. Sunil, I would expect that this move really would invite a great deal of criticism, but undoubtedly for India to send a message that this region, the territory of Jammu and Kashmir, the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir is ours. I think that really is writ large with this development, isn't it? Absolutely, Sneha. Uh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah's picture is going to be removed from the JNK police medals. And as you said, that uh, that Article 370 may have been removed, but for uh, the BJP, it also wants to remove the reminiscence of the Article 370 and 35A. The BJP has been all along maintaining that Sheikh Abdullah was one of the creators of the Kashmir problem. That's what the BJP says, and that is why they are removing his picture from the Jammu and Kashmir police medal and the. BJP BJP says that the national emblem is supreme and there cannot be any other emblem uh, which can be there besides the national emblem. I have with me the President of Jammu and Kashmir BJP, Mr. Ravinder Raina. I will just get a word from him. <laughs> Mr. Raina, your critics are going to say that you are indulging in political vendetta because uh, Mr. Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah has a, a role. He, uh, he had played an important role in the history of Jammu and Kashmir. Why are you doing this? One nation one constitution and one emblem and having a famous slogan Satya Meva Jaite so we have a national emblem and that should be there on the gallantry award for the meritorious services that is uh, being uh, rewarded to the police jawans in Jammu and Kashmir there is nothing supreme as we have national emblems across the country for the various meritorious services and uh, gallantry awards. But now the Jammu and Kashmir is a union's territory. We are a part of union territory. So if the union government is having the national emblem on the various rewards, why not in Jammu and Kashmir? And right. moreover, it was a reminiscent of uh, there were some reminiscences of Article 370. Right. Those needs to be removed. So, you, uh, Sneha, you just heard that the President of Jammu and Kashmir BJP is saying that reminiscences of Article 370 are now being eradicated and the BJP uh, believes that uh, there should be total integration of Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the Union, with the Union of India. Right, Sunil Ji, but thanking you for the moment. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you for more on that important story developing from Jammu and Kashmir.